This is an engine one bleed fault caused by an overheat. The aircraft is in cruise. You hear the single chime and see the master caution light. Extinguish the master caution. On the engine warning display, read the title of the failure. The engine one bleed system has failed. On the bleed system page, which has been called automatically, the bleed air temperature is displayed amber because it is abnormally high. The amber fault light on the engine one bleed push button switch confirms the failure. The bleed monitoring computer detects the overheat and automatically closes the bleed valve to protect the system. With the valve closed, the bleed pressure falls to zero and the temperature decreases. The engine one bleed system is no longer available. Notice that the engine one bleed push button switch fault light remains eliminated. This means the overheat is still present. The fault light will remain illuminated until the failure has disappeared. Perform ECAM action. Set the cross bleed selector to open. Observe the ECAM. The cross bleed valve is displayed amber during transit and inline green when fully open. The pressure and temperature values for the left side of the system are back to normal because now both sides are being supplied by engine two. After review and confirmation, clear air. If you should need wing anti-ice, you will have to switch off one air conditioning pack. We will deal with this later. In the inoperative systems column, engine one bleed is listed. After review and confirmation by the pilot flying, clear status. ECAM complete, screens normal. Now we will see what happens if you have to use wing anti-ice with the engine one bleed still inoperative. Let's assume you encounter icing conditions during the remaining part of your flight. Switch wing anti-ice on. The engine one bleed fault procedure is automatically recalled on the engine warning display and the ECAM procedure requires that you switch pack one off. This is because one engine bleed system is not sufficient to supply wing anti-ice and both air conditioning packs at the same time. Perform ECAM action. After review and confirmation, clear air. On the status page, pack one has been added to the inoperative systems column. After review and confirmation, clear status. ECAM complete, screens normal. We will continue by adding another failure to your previous configuration. This will be a left wing leak. On the engine warning display, read the title of the failure. On the system display, the ECAM bleed page is automatically presented. On the air conditioning panel, the indications from the previous failure remain unchanged. The title of the failure indicates that a bleed leak in the left wing has been detected. The left side of the bleed system has to be shut down in order to prevent any damage from leaking hot air. The first line of the ECAM procedure requires you to switch the cross bleed selector to the shut position. With the selector in auto position, the cross bleed valve would have been closed automatically However, you opened it manually in the previous procedure. Perform ECAM action. Observe the indications. The cross bleed valve closes. The pressure in the left bleed system returns to zero. Since there is no bleed air, the left wing anti-ice valve indication becomes amber. 
The wing anti-ice indications will be explained further in a later module. Continue ECAM action. The wing anti-ice has been switched off because you do not want to de-ice one wing only. The ECAM advises you to avoid icing conditions for the remaining part of the flight. After review and confirmation, clear air. The status page also informs you that you must avoid icing conditions. The wing anti-ice has been added to the inoperative systems column. The engine one bleed and pack one remain from the previous failure. After review and confirmation from the pilot flying, clear status. ECAM complete. Screens normal. We will now look briefly at several abnormals to see other remaining indications in the pneumatic system. The ECAM procedures will not be performed. In normal operation, the cross bleed valve automatically opens when the APU bleed is switched on. If it should fail to open, there is an ECAM caution and the cross bleed valve is displayed cross line amber to indicate disagreement. Conversely, if the cross bleed valve should fail to close automatically after the APU bleed has been switched off, there is an ECAM caution and the valve is displayed inline amber. The engine bleed valves and the high pressure valves are also displayed amber if their position disagrees with the normal position.